Hi, welcome to Parametry Calves. In this Grasshopper tutorial, we want to learn uh, how to convert a series of curves, uh, closed polylines, actually to a mesh. Uh, in the second step, we're going to talk about uh, how we can use the corner of the mesh to just make a series of columns. As you can see here, I can give them some height. And in the last step, we're going to also add the beams. Uh, which we're going to learn how to make the mesh edge thicken component uh, to get the final results. Uh, so for the first step, as you can see here, uh, we can draw any closed curve and add this to the uh, curve input. So I'm going to say set multiple curves. And if I bake the mesh, you can see that these uh, uh, boundaries are going to be converted into a simple mesh which we're going to use in our seconds uh, okay let's get started with the boundaries so I'm going to just draw the boundaries here and assume that we have this uh, we can bring that into grasshopper to the PAMS menu curve geometry curve right click set multiple curves and just select them uh, the next step is to convert them into a series of boundaries uh, you can do two things to produce that one is using a plugin and another one is from scratch if you want to use a plugin you can use the uh, parakeet plugin curve and use this network region which is really good and fast you just give that to the input and here if I bake that you can see that it's going to uh, give you the regions separately and then you can just uh, go to the mesh utility simple mesh especially if you have a quad uh, or four-sided uh, boundaries and then we can just uh, join them together with a mesh join and then we can use the utility weld mesh to get a final results so this is going to be the mesh uh, we're going to use in the second step uh, if you want to do that from scratch instead of the network region uh, what you can do here is to go to intersection a uh, shape and use this region union so I'm going to just give that to the inputs the plane is obviously the plane of the curve and as you can see here uh, when I select it it's going to give you the united boundaries of the inputs uh, then what we want to do here is go to the intersection physical and use the surface split so when you give the results which is a curve to the surface it's automatically going to convert that into a surface so if I bake that you can see that this is going to be the base surface and the curves we can simply go to the curve and explode explode the curve into all of the segments so if I just bake that you can see it's going to convert it into uh, its uh, different lines we have on each of the boundaries and then uh, flatten the input of the curves we want to split because we don't want that to be in like uh, when you give this input without flattening that means we want to split it two times and each time with four different edges which is not going to be what we want and if I bake that you can see that this is going to give you the fragments uh, after producing the fragments what you have to do is to go to the surface and use a b-rep join uh, to join them together as you can see here this is going to join them and then you can use the simple mesh mesh join and other steps to get it uh, obviously when you join them before you make the simple mesh you don't need the mesh join so here you can see it's like 20 vertices with five faces and after that it's also 20 vertices with five faces so we can get rid of the mesh join and just give it to the velt mesh and if i bake the mesh and bring it out you can see that it's a complete singular mesh and you can use that in the next step so if you download this from our website the step one file uh, you can see that I have made this into a cluster uh, just double click it and you can see that these are the steps we have taken to get the final results uh, the second step is to convert those meshes into a series of columns with an edge length and an extrusion a simple extrusion which is the mesh corner uh, square component which you can download from step two uh, to start from scratch I have used that mesh we have produced in the step one to get uh, for the outputs for step two uh, what we want to do here is to uh, produce a series of squares at the corners of the mesh uh, vertices so I'm going to go to the mesh 
and use the analyzes deconstruct mesh that's going to give us a series of vertices which we're going to use uh, and we just have to simply make a rectangle there so I'm going to go to this curve primitive and use this rectangle when you give the point to the plane input it's going to make it an XY plane which is uh, okay for this example and then we have to make an X size and a Y size because I want to make a square I can just simply uh, give a number for example 2.5 and if I give that to the X size and Y size, uh, what you can see here, it's going to make it in the XY plane. Obviously, because when you give a number to a domain, it's going to make it from zero to that number. But what we need here is like minus three to three, okay? Uh, so when we have this plane uh, here, we can make it at the center. So we just have to make a domain. I'm going to go to the math, uh, construct domain and give domain here and uh, for the start and end we have to make this number for example if it's 6 it's going to be minus 3 to 3 to make the length 6 to start I'm going to say expression minus x divided by 2 and for the end I'm going to make it x divided by 2 and uh, as you can see here this is going to make the squares easily on any mesh so just simply give that any mesh you want and you will get these rectangles uh, now let's just extrude them we can go to the params menus geometry surface give the surface to this and a surface freeform extrude so we can extrude them in the z direction and just give this a number slider so that's going to increase that and here you can see that this is the edge length and this is the extrusion uh, I have made this into step 2 so uh, you can simply see that that's the same we have learned in the step 2 and you can give that, that an edge length uh, an extrusion just a cluster I have made you can give the mesh to it so remember that you can download the step 2 if you wanted to use the squares and the uh, extrusion uh, for the last step what we want to do is to make the beams uh, for this one what we are going to learn is how we can uh, find a part of the edge uh, length here as you can see here we have a length offset width and extrude so again you can download this step 3 uh, okay let's go back to our uh, example which we made the columns now what we want to do is to work with the mesh edges and make those uh, simple beams here uh, to do that we can go to the mesh and use the mesh edges instead of mesh vertices obviously we just have to put all of the edges into the curve container so I'm going to use the shift key to just add all of it just turn this off and we have all of the mesh edges now we have to find a part of this line because we have these columns so I'm going to this is going to be a good exercise uh, we can use the curve analyzers and evaluate length and obviously if we use this length remember that you have to turn off the normalized because by default it's true so I'm going to set this to false and uh, because the length of this one is divided by 2 we have to also divide this by 2 and as you can see here this is going to give us one point at the start so for example if this is the edge and this is the direction of the edge uh, we have a length which was division of 2 here and we have to also make a division in the end of the line at the end of the line we just have to flip the direction so I'm just going to go to the curve and use this flip curve and do the same here just give that here and now we just have uh, two points for a line and use this line width two points to produce these as you can see here we just made an offset from the lines for the columns and uh, now we just have to make uh, give them a little bit of a thickness uh, to do that we can use the curve offset and because it's an XY plane it's okay I'm going to just make a copy 
and give the distance and minus x because we just want to if this is the center line we have to make an offset in the both sides in the x and minus x direction and again we have to give the distance so i'm going to give this to the distance and obviously this is a double size of this so again we have to say x divided by 2 and minus x divided by 2 and that's okay so now we just have those offset lines and we have to give them a loft we have to connect them together surface loft use a shift key to loft these two offset curves together and we can bake them here you can see that we have produced them because we want to bring them up we just have to use the move in the z direction and uh, if we have this extrusion for the columns we just have to bring it up so that's it and now we can extrude them down so i'm going to use the freeform extrude in the z direction minus x and give uh, a number to it so we can control this is too much i know but i'm going to make it from 0 to 10 maybe so you can also give this a thickness so that's it now uh, whenever we give the base mesh to this it's going to uh, produce the columns and the beams uh, remember that you can also download the part three so the step three is obviously uh, we have the uh, it was just for an example so you understand that you can convert that into a cluster again that uh, mesh edges we did uh, with the evaluate length the offset the loft and the extrusion so you can maybe use that as a tool just let me know if it's useful or any uh, ideas you have on it and i hope this tutorial was useful uh, just download this example file from our website uh, thanks for watching remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified about our new video tutorials and see you next time bye